Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video all about highlighting and contouring. I use cream sticks, I use powders, I go the whole nine yards with my full and complete highlighting and contouring routine. So if you guys would like to see how I highlight and contour, then just keep on watching. I'm starting off with my normal makeup. My concealer is what I'm going to use to highlight my face, so I like to use something that is one or two shades lighter than my skin tone. Apply that concealer in an upside down triangle shape under your eyes, a little bit on the highest point of your forehead, chin, and right above your lip in your cupid's bow, and right down the center of your nose since these are the highest points on your face, so they would naturally catch the light more. I'm also going to put a little bit of this concealer on my eyelids as an eyeshadow primer, but also to cover up any veins or discoloration that I have on my lids. Use a translucent powder to set just under your eyes for now because we're still going to be applying creams to the rest of the face. Contouring and highlighting are huge today, so the amount of products that are out on the market both in the drugstore and in beauty stores is enormous. Today I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Coco. This has been one of my favorite things to contour with lately. It is a cream stick and I'm just going to use this all around the perimeter of my face. So for your cheekbones, just like when you're shading a circle or any round object, there's not just a sharp line that starts underneath. It gets really dark around the outer part and then it kind of fades into the light. So what you want to do is find where your cheekbone sits. You can do this by taking any brush, your finger, whatever you can, suck your cheeks in, and where you feel your cheekbone, it'll be right above that hollow. So it should be right here on me. We're gonna put this cream contour right on that lower part, and we're gonna blend it upwards to fade it into the light. I'm gonna take the butt of my beauty blender, and I'm gonna lightly swipe up and back towards my hairline. Because we haven't set the rest of our face yet with a translucent powder, the cream contour mixes in really easily with your foundation. I'm also going to apply this to the places where my face starts to sink back from my high points. This is going to be around the perimeter of my forehead and my temples, underneath my jawline, along the sides of my nose, and right under my lip. The trick to contouring is playing around and finding the spots where that contour is going to complement your face best. So if you have a smaller forehead, you might not want to apply contour up here because this is going to make your forehead sink back more and make it look shorter. Same thing for your chin. If you have a very chiseled jawline and you want it to look a little bit softer, you might not want to apply any contour here because it's just going to intensify those shadows that already exist taking the butt of my beauty blender, I'm going to start on my forehead and blend out towards the outside of my face. Under my chin, I'm going to blend down towards my neck. For my lip, I'm going to blend mostly side to side, but also a little bit down, trying to stay away from that highlighted point that we just highlighted a little while ago. And for my nose, I'm going to be blending mostly up and down, but also pull down a little bit to the sides. Now going back into my translucent powder, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and set the rest of my face. And if I have spots that I find are a little extra oily, I'm going to pack a little bit more powder on there with my beauty blender. Using a light layer of translucent powder over your whole face is going to help set that cream in place so that when you put other powders on top, it won't stick to the wet patches and make your contour look blotchy. For an everyday look, I would normally stop right here, but if you want to intensify that contour, you can go over all of that with a powder. There are contouring palettes, like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, which has very, very light shades for highlighting your face, as well as darker shades for bronzing and contouring. I'm going to be using this middle shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shade Medium with my Y9 Morphe Contour Brush. To intensify my nose contour, I'm going to use that same Anastasia Beverly Hills shade with a smaller blending brush. 
You can use powdered contouring on top of your cream contouring to intensify it, kind of like a double contour. Or if your skin is a little bit more oily, you can just powder contour and it will give you the same effect as if you just cream contoured. Creams have a tendency to look a little bit more natural since it kind of melts in with the natural texture of your skin, where powder tends to just sit on top. If you feel like anywhere you applied your lighter concealer isn't bright enough for you, you can go in with a lighter powder shade on top of that. I like to use this lightest shade in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit when I feel like that needs to be done with my e.l.f. highlighting brush. So this is what my face would look like with just that cream and powdered contour. I like to take it one step further and apply a bronzer on top of that to give my skin a glowing look. My favorite bronzer that I use every day is the Bomb Cosmetics Betty Luminizer. I like to take a nice fluffy powder brush, this one is from Morphe, and I'll lightly dip in and I will go around to the parts of my face that I already contoured just to add a little bit of shine to them. With that big fluffy brush, I start on the insides and blend outwards towards my hairline, and when I get to my neck, I blend down my neck. On days when I don't feel like doing a full eyeshadow look, I'll even take a little bit of this bronzer on a fluffy blending brush and I'll blend it into my crease. Off camera, I quickly did my eye makeup, my eyebrows, added some blush and mascara, and now this is the time when I usually powder highlight. Because I used my Fenty Beauty Cream Contour today, I'm also going to use my Fenty Beauty Highlighter. This is the Kilowatt Highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal, and with an e.l.f. smaller tapered brush, I'm going to go into Lightning Dust and I'm going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, and a little bit on my cupid's bow, and I'm also going to add the tiniest bit to the inner corners of my eyes and under the arch of my eyebrow. Set everything in place with a little bit of setting spray and you're good to go. So that is all I have for you guys today. Rocco wanted to say hello and goodbye and he's barky and he's being rude. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button right down below to see more content like this from me in the future. Until next time.